Lovers in Iowa who live in cities that don't allow some breeds could see some changes. A bill introduced in the Iowa Senate would end those restrictions. That is tonight's top story. According to the American Veterinary Medical Association, there are currently 13 states in the country, that includes Illinois, that have banned specific dog breed ordinances. Local 4's Carla Sosa shows you what this bill would mean if it's passed. They are very loving, playful, happy dogs. Jessie Ness from Bettendorf says her pitbulls Kilo Bream and Kiyoshi Brown are part of her family. But in 68 cities in Iowa, there are restrictions that ban owning certain dog breeds like pit bulls. The new legislation introduced by Senator Chris Kanoyer would end those bans. Kanoyer has a husky pit bull mix dog that she adopted from a shelter and said she wouldn't want people to automatically think her dog is aggressive because of his breed. What this legislation does is if a municipality wants to have some sort of um, ordinance against aggressive dogs, we're just asking that they apply it to all dog breeds, not just specific ones. Not everyone is in favor of dog breed bans being lifted. Council Bluffs Mayor Matt Walsh said there were 29 separate pit bull bite incidents in 2004. The following year, the city decided to put in place a dog breed ban on three specific breeds, American Pit Bull, Bull Terrier, and Staffordshire's Bull Terrier. He feels this bill would take away from cities deciding what's best for their community. Local government should have the authority to make decisions on behalf of their constituents they represent. And so I think it's an overreach by state government to, uh, to tell local communities how they need to run their cities. The city of Muscatine introduced its pit bull ban in 2003. The reason was we had had um, several incidents at the time and our police department was actually looking into doing something. We actually had to shoot five pit bulls in the city. Our, um, our animal control officer was attacked by a pit bull. Preston Moore, the Iowa State Humane Society director, says they are working with cities who have dog breed bans. We as an organization have reached out to the community of Muscatine, for example, and many other communities throughout the state, offering to help them rewrite their animal ordinances in a breed neutral way. Moore says support for the bill is growing. Currently, we have animal shelters and rescues and organizations from right here in Iowa from around the state that are supporting this bill. And Ness hopes more people in Iowa will get the chance to add these currently restricted dogs to their families. I think that would be a great thing that would make me and I think a lot of other people happy. Um, I don't think it should be took out on the dogs, you know. People make them to be bad individuals. Carla Sosa, Local 4 News. If the bill is passed, Governor Reynolds will have it on her desk this summer.